Swift introduces a very interesting uh, data type uh, called tuple. And I really like it because you can use it um, as an array or you can use it as a, a hash table, pass around as a parameter uh, to a function. And it's very, very flexible. So um, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, a few examples. For example, uh, to um, create uh, a simple tuple, I can go just, for example, var uh, months um, equals and then um, let it be uh, Jan, uh, let's say January 1st, and last one March. March. So this one really looks like um, an array of uh, strings and I have January, February and March and um, I can uh, access any uh, value in this array by typing simply months and zero. So the very first uh, value store stored in this um, tuple. So you see I have output of January here. And I go, I can go months um, and the first, second value, which is February. Um, and I can actually use it as uh, let's say an object or a, a hash table with key value pairs for example var I can declare user profile equals and here I'll create a key for example first name will be Sergey and the last name will be Kargapod um, so this one looks like a hash table and I can easily access its uh, values by um, accessing the keys for example user profile dot first name and I will get output Sergey and user profile sorry profile dot last name and I get Kargapod and you can assign um, tuple to um, separate variables uh, for example uh, I'll do var var let's say first name and that will be a variable um, last name another variable and um, yeah I have only two equals to user profile. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking this tuple and I am assigning it to this whole thing. And what is going, um, what's going to happen is that a user profile is going to be, is going to get unwrapped and the first key or the first value like Sergey will be assigned to first name and then Kargapolov will be assigned to last name. So if I simply print out first name, I'll get correct output. So this first name here is now a variable. And same happens to last name. So last name is actually a variable that holds a value of um, Kargapolov very interesting data type and what you can actually do for example if you don't want um, if you like this tuple holds two keys but I can ignore one for example if I do this if I use underscore um, this tuple is going to be unwrapped and only one key or one variable is going to be created so I can use last name and it's, um, it's going to work perfectly. But if I try to, for example, print first name, it's not going to work. It gives me an error. Uh, very interesting, uh, very interesting data type. And as I've mentioned, it can be an array of string, val uh, string values or it can actually hold numbers. So I'll do var days equals and I'll get an array of integers. Well, these, let's call it my numbers. 
an array of integers and now I can I can access this just the same way I, I was accessing month so I'll say my numbers one and I get uh, the value of two printed out so the the, the the second element of this array because array starts with one so uh, once again um, tuples are very interesting data type and it can be an array of strings or it can be an array of numbers uh, or it can be actually uh, more like a hash uh, table you can have uh, key value pairs and you can pass it around as a parameter or you can uh, kind of unwrap it and um, uh, create number of uh, variables out of this stuff all and you can then use those individual variables in your application.